Hello everyone, how are you? I've missed YouTube so much. Now, I know it's only been like a week since I posted, but I feel like I'm so used to posting twice a week that it just feels so weird not being in here. So it feels so good to be back and I'm really excited to get you guys pumped up to get things done around your house. But first I wanted to share a quick recipe. This recipe may look somewhat familiar. Usually you will use it with a pot roast, but today we're using chicken. So you're gonna take some chicken breast, you're gonna need a ranch seasoning packet, au jus seasoning packets, an onion, a stick of butter, and I'm using banana peppers, pepperoncinis, whatever you guys like. And first you're gonna coat the bottom of the crock pot with some nonstick spray. You're gonna dice up your onion and put that at the bottom of the crock pot. And then you're gonna to top the onion with your chicken breasts. I'm using two because as you can see, these are very large. Then I'm gonna take my au jus seasoning, two packets and sprinkle that on top. And then on top of the au jus packets, I'm going to sprinkle the ranch seasoning. You're going to top that with your banana peppers and some pads of butter. Turn this on high for four hours and let it cook. I also wanted to mention how easy the cleanup for this meal was because not only is it great to have a easy meal to whip together that doesn't take a ton of time, but also taking cleanup time into consideration. So that is one of the reasons I absolutely love this meal. And I'm sharing that right in the beginning of this video because that's gonna be cooking as we're cleaning all day. It's one of my favorite things about crock pot meals is that you don't even have to think about dinner. It's already done and you can even just turn it on low or warm and eat it later for those nights that you have sports and just afternoon obligations the best but now that dinner is taken care of we're going to dive right in and we're going to start here in the kitchen starting with some dishes Spring is so close, the time change is just in a few days. I'm so excited. Well, I'm excited for the more daylight, not excited for the exhaustion that comes along with a time change, but I know that spring is so close when that happens. So I'm already just already thinking about bright sunny days and flowers and bringing color into the house and Easter. And just then we know that summer is on the horizon there's just so many exciting things ahead, so I'm really looking forward to it. But here on my channel, another reason I love spring is being able to share with you guys how I prepare my home after, you know, having the windows closed for winter and all the coziness of fall and Christmas, which is so great. But bringing you guys into my home, we're opening up those cabinets, we're dusting those window sills, we're washing all the things that need to be washed, wiping baseboards, changing filters, doing that deep overdue cleaning that we need to do so badly. And I'm just so excited to take you guys along with me. So make sure if you guys are new here, you subscribe before you leave. I would absolutely love to have you. I already have a list of things that I'm gonna be sharing in upcoming videos, but today is just a great start to start chipping away at the huge list that I have going and we're barely scratching the surface. So cannot wait to take you guys along on that cleaning journey with me. Let me know if you guys have started your spring cleaning yet or if you're also making a list. I'm so excited to get going. Thank you. 
Everybody has their job, nine to five, and get in. So I wanted to talk about my posting schedule just for a quick moment before I forget and this video ends. Now my posting schedule is usually every Sunday and Wednesday. I really would try hard to put up two videos a week for you guys, but I've just come to realize that it just doesn't come as naturally when you put that kind of pressure on yourself, especially when you work inside of your home. I just want to make sure that I'm keeping things fresh and motivating and not too repetitive for you guys. And if I'm filming twice a week, a lot of the things you'll see twice um, or sometimes the same things in those videos. And I just really want to keep things interesting and entertaining for you guys. Um, so I have a lot of ideas for videos, but I just want to take the pressure of the two videos a week away. So you will have a guaranteed video every single week. Sometimes there'll be two, heck, sometimes there might be three, but I just wanna keep it natural and not forced. And that way you guys are getting the most genuine version of me. When I filmed this video, I truly felt like picking up the camera and getting it done. Um, I didn't get a lot of like talking to the camera or anything like that in this video, um, just because there was so much going on in the background, but I usually try and come on and be chatty and give you guys updates and talk to you guys through my voiceover, which of course is gonna be the majority of this video. But I just wanted to let you guys know, I'm kind of stepping away from my normal posting schedule and it may not even be on a Sunday or a Wednesday. Sometimes you guys may just wake up and I might have a new video, which always keeps things exciting. And I feel like that is like a huge no-no for YouTube, but I also feel like this space is changing so much. So I feel like I'm gonna be able to be a little bit more creative doing decorating and shopping and hauls and vlogging and not just strictly boxed into cleaning content. Because as much as I love sharing this with you guys, I want to keep things fun for myself as well. So there will be some changes to my some changes to my channel coming up and I just want to give you guys a heads up. So not every single video is going to be a cleaning video. Um, some of you have even requested like a vlog, so maybe we can make that happen so I can fulfill a lot more of those requests and hopefully YouTube will throw me a bone and push out my videos and you guys will still see them. So make sure you guys have your notifications turned on. Um, it'll be the bell and you just hit that and that will shoot you a notification anytime I put up a brand new video, no matter what style video it is. So that's just a heads up and it has me really, really excited because I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit of burnout and taking a break and waiting a week to post really did kind of light that flame for me again. And I'm excited to push out some more content for you all. Your eyes are shining like the stars. I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see clear as day. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. I, I, feels like I can fly I, You can take me high A ton done in the kitchen. I was actually racing around the house this day because um, I put it in my community tab. My husband and I just celebrated our 14 year wedding anniversary. I can't believe it's been 14 years, you guys. It is so crazy. But we were going away for a couple of days. We just went down to San Diego um, and stayed at this really beautiful resort right on the water in the marina. It overlooked downtown San Diego across the bay. It was like very like Polynesian themed. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, so my mom was coming to stay at the house with the boys. So of course you wanted the house to look tidy and organized and cleaned up because she was going to stay in the guest bedroom. So I wanted to get that bathroom all cleaned up, make sure dishes were caught up, laundry was caught up and just that the house looked nice. I wanted to make sure it was a nice welcoming space for her. So that was definitely my motivation to get up and clean today. And I'm really happy that I picked up the camera and took you guys with me because I almost didn't. But now as I'm editing it, I hope that this is able to just boost your motivation and inspire you guys and get things done around your home as well. Mm -hmm. You 
can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly Can take me high. I'm so, so, so sad. Since I lost you, I've been hurt. Think you saw me with your friends last night. I think it was you. Such a tragic, rather painful sight. So embarrassing. Soaring back to my heart, holding hands with the night. Getting these floors cleaned was really high on my priority list today because I was definitely behind on just even vacuuming, let alone mopping, and my floors were looking pretty bad. And that is one of the things that I cannot stand is when things stick to your feet, especially in the kitchen when you're trying to walk around. Um, so I wanted to dedicate a good portion of this day to really dialing in my floors. So I did a good vacuum and then I took my Tenco S5, which also vacuums, um, but it's still mopping as well. So I feel like my floors almost got like a double vacuum and then a really good mop. Um, so that made me feel really good. They looked a hundred times better, felt a thousand times better. Um, so it just felt good that I was not only able to get caught up on these floors, but also have them looking all sparkly and clean for my mom to come stay. trash can update we're really liking this trash can you guys it is so nice having somewhere to put the recycling instead of just piling it up on the counter this trash can is way overdue so i'm so happy that i spent the money and pulled the trigger on it and the brown even grew on me and i actually really really enjoy it so trash can is here to stay also did you see how full that canister on my vacuum was so that was pretty bad. Um, and then as I was over here um, 
getting my vacuum and getting my S5, I noticed that there were dust bunnies and all kinds of stuff over here in this corner because it's where I store my vacuums. So I don't necessarily like vacuum this corner a whole lot. So I pulled everything back. Um, my vacuum, I had put a little bit too much solution in it and it bubbled over, but I was able to use that water, that soap and water to wipe down this space and get everything just dust free. This was something that was on my spring checklist to begin with. So I feel like I've already got a jump start on my spring cleaning um, because I started touching those places and hitting those places that were on my to-do list. And I have so much more to come, you guys. We're really gonna get into the nitty gritty. And then of course we need to put out some spring decorations. So I'm really excited to share all that with you guys. Um, I feel like I've been making lists of video ideas to share with you guys and just get into all those places in our homes that have just been collecting dust and dirt and pet hair all winter. I almost forgot to wipe down this table and then realized, oh, I need to remember to do this. My husband actually comes in with the air compressor and blows all the crumbs and food out of these cracks. And I love this table. We bought it when we moved into this house. Still so happy with our decision, but I'm not gonna lie, the cracks um, in this table where they put the planking and stuff together is a magnet for food. So just keep that in mind if you guys ever look at this table it's from living spaces it's called the palazzo beautiful to look at but the food just gets caught all up in there but the air compressor does the trick the vacuum doesn't touch it it's all about blowing it out with the strength i should say of the air compressor because you really need a lot of power but got the table all cleaned up my husband did it so he wasn't on camera but we did do that which is another thing on my springtime checklist and then this is where the bar stools go so the kids put their feet up here we entertain shoes hit this wall and it gets really marked up and i don't wipe this down near as often as i should so today was the day it's almost spring it's the time of year it needs to get done and it really didn't end up taking that much time at all 
I wanted to give you guys a backyard update because we have been making some changes back here um, and still a long way to go, but that's actually gonna end up being its own video. Um, so just over this last weekend, so we ended up pushing all this back. There actually was a table, um, like a patio style table and six chairs. We literally had for probably like eight to 10 years. It had seen better days. Put on Facebook Marketplace for free. Someone came and picked it up and we ended up pushing all this back, but we will end up pushing it back a little bit more and kind of rearranging everything. This is just kind of where we shoved it. It started raining. So um, we're gonna pull all this back. We're going to come in and pressure wash everything, get everything nice and clean and ready for spring. And then I need to come out here and do um, my, what do you call it? The upholstery cleaner with my carpet cleaner, the attachment and get in here and clean these cushions. Ruger has been coming up here and napping and it has been raining. And as you can see, he's been bringing the mud and stuff up on here. And this set is from Living Spaces and it was a pretty penny if I'm being honest. So I need to get this cleaned back up. So we're gonna pull the cushions off, um, make sure there's no like spider webs or anything in there, get these cushions cleaned and then we will reset everything up. I am thinking about replacing this outdoor rug. It's not totally necessary but it would be nice just to get a new fresh one out here. Um, and then my husband's been working in here, cleaning up and trimming back all of these plants and then removing some of the plants. So here's some of our sago palms. You can see that he's been trimming back. And then we have some bougainvillea along the back fence. And as you can see, like that one's not doing too good, but they do, they do bounce back just, they're very, they're, they're a lot to maintain. And every time my husband comes back here to trim, like he gets poked and scratched up. So I think we're just gonna pull those out as much as I'm gonna miss those pink flowers. We will put a trellis and some sort of other bright colored vine back there. Um, but this is where we're at right now. So we're going, these are kangaroo paw. Um, and you have to go through and clean up all those dead leaves and pull them out. So. That's what we've been working on, trimming things back, pulling things out, weeding, because of course, like with a lot of rain comes a lot of weeds. Um, and then our birds of paradise, I showed you guys, those are absolutely thriving right now. There's one right there. Um, and then I have hibiscus back here. I have hydrangea and spring is upon us and everything is gonna start blooming so nice. Our palm trees are so happy. I mean, they have grown so much. This is a large birds of paradise, um, but our queen palms are just absolutely thriving. And so are those birds of paradise. Um, also ended up moving this planter. It was over there on that side of the yard, um, but we're just shuffling everything around and getting everything a nice refresh. Everything just has a coat of dust on it. As you can see, I need to take this cover off the TV and get that all cleaned up get the barbecue all cleaned up. This is our smoker. Um, and yeah, just continue to dust the dirt off, <laughs> um, trim everything back. So it just has a fresh start. Um, and then this corner over here, we need to trim down some more. I've shown you guys this before, but our pool equipment and AC unit, this kind of like blocks all that and it's open on the other side to get in there. Um, is our storage shed. And then I have another like little sitting area over here. I love to sit over here. It has a great view of the yard and it's great to watch the kids as they're swimming and everything. But everything is kind of starting to come back to life and it just feels really, really nice. So I can't wait to get everything cleaned up here. You can kind of see where he's been working and pulling things out but that's a backyard update so i'm gonna have a backyard refresh coming soon i got some new patio furniture coming we'll get a new rug we'll get everything cleaned and i'll have a really really good after for you guys dinner isn't ready yet but i wanted to show you guys how it's coming along it actually might be close i'll have to check that but I'm gonna just make it with some mashed potatoes, gravy, and some green beans. So once it's plated up, fingers crossed, I can remember to show you guys. Once it's plated up, I'll show you the after, but 
the smells chef's kiss thank you so much for watching today i'm so excited for all this spring content that has started to hit youtube and my channel here we haven't even decorated for spring yet and i did pick up a new item a few new items today actually um, but i'm definitely keeping it simple and affordable and relatable i don't want to overdo it i just don't want to bring in a lot of clutter so make sure you guys like before you leave and subscribe so that way you guys don't miss any of those upcoming videos and liking this video helps me out a ton as a small creator so thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending time with me today i know today was a long one so drop me a heart emoji of any color you guys want down below in the comments to let me know you guys made it to the end and are still here with me thank you again so much i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye friends